Back in Australia, on a critical local issue, last week I found myself asking the question, which is more precious, a koala con colony or a new coal mine? In New South Wales, the State Government's Planning and Assessment Commission has given the go-ahead for the new Malls Creek coal mine. In doing so, it, it has approved the destruction of large tracts of valuable koala habitat in northwest New South Wales from a massive open-cut coal mine proposal that would destroy 2,000 hectares or around 2,800 football fields of forest. Even though the area is mapped as Tier 1 biodiversity land in the New South Wales Government's own strategic regional land use policy and the project's ecological impact assessment states that the mine could have a substantial impact on local biodiversity and threatened species, they have given the mine the go-ahead. The Laird Forest is the largest remaining biodiversity refuge on the already heavily cleared Liverpool Plains. It's home to a koala population that will have nowhere else to go if the proposed Malls Creek coal mine goes ahead. Now only the federal government stands in the way of the bulldozers. Across Australia, across Australia, koalas and the forests they call home face growing pressure from logging, mining and developments that are destroying koala habitat piece by precious piece. They need stronger federal protection than ever before. Koalas in New South Wales, Queensland and the ACT have been listed as a vulnerable species. They are under threat because their habitat is fast diminishing. Each new development and, uh, and, and, mine, and, and mine on or near koala habitat threatens the future of the species. My colleague, Greens New South Wales MP Kate Fairman, recently visited the Laird Forest and saw firsthand just why this forest is too precious to lose when she spotted a koala sitting low in a tree. Ms Fairman said, despite overwhelming health and environmental arguments against it, the New South Wales Planning Assessment Commission approved the mine on 25 October. This disgraceful decision demonstrates the New South Wales planning system is weighted heavily in favour of big mining. Now, this represents a serious test for Mr Burke, the Federal Environment Minister. These koalas deserve our care, our foresight to protect their habitat for the future survival of their species. Along with the koalas, 25 other threatened plant and animal species are also at risk of losing their habitat if the Malls Creek mine goes ahead, especially the critically endangered white box gum woodland. Minister Burke could reject the proposed Malls Creek mine under our federal environment laws, but as we know, he is actually preparing to trash most of his own powers at a Council of Australian Governments meeting on December 7. Being big, big business and mining giants think it should be easier for them to dig, chop down and build whatever and wherever they want. And sadly, it looks like Minister Burke and the Labor Party agrees. We need stronger federal environment laws to protect koalas, koalas and their precious native forest habitat. Many koalas have the great misfortune to live in native state forests that are still being heavily logged to feed the dying wood chip industry. People are rightly horrified when they learn that vital koala habitat is still being filled to create wood chips, even though the bottom has fallen out of the international wood chip market. The native forest logging industry still holds extraordinary and undue influence over state governments. Because of the state government's toothless regional forestry agreements, the states can continue to approve logging in forests that provide precious koala habitat. The recent listing of the koala in New South Wales, Queensland and the ACT as a vulnerable species does not give them protection from logging. We need people to push koalas to the top of the government's agenda. I am sure there are senators in both Labor and the coalition parties who care deeply about the future survival of the koala. I believe saving koalas can be an issue for cross-party action. I hope we can work together for better protection for koalas and their habitat, for nationwide listing of koalas as vulnerable species to end native forest logging in state forests where koalas live and for federal funding to better monitoring, for better monitoring of koala habitat and populations to ensure their long-term survival. Thank you, Mr.